Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living, I'm Karen. I know many of you have new family milk cows, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to choose the best bucket to use when hand milking your family milk cow. When milking our cows, we use two different kinds of containers. So the first, uh, when our cow is fresh or when we are training a new heifer or in any situation that the cow might be a bit stressed, we use a half gallon stainless steel pitcher so that um, we can milk, you know, one handed and we can exit quickly if we need to protect our milk. And I always have a little covering over this and I'll just set it aside if there's um, any issue with a cow. Now remember when your cow has her new calf that milk cows are very, very devoted mothers and she will be very nervous uh, when you are, you know, first start milking her after she is fresh, even an experienced milk cow. So we definitely, uh, we find this the easiest in fresh cows and training. Okay, so once our cow, everything is, you know, going smoothly, the routine's going great, we transition over to a stainless steel bucket. So this is what I am using right now. Um, I've been milking for you know, close to 20 years and this is definitely my favorite. So this is a 13 quart, 13 gauge stainless steel bucket made in the U.S which is very high quality, um, but definitely worth it. So some things that I would take into account uh, if I was looking for a bucket is if you're milking a Benny Jersey or a Holstein, um, you wanna make sure that the height of your bucket, you know, will allow you to, you know, get your hand you know, under the udder and milk. And also I use a pedestal to milk, to set my milk bucket on so that my milk bucket won't get dirty. So. Um, that's gonna make it a little, you know, higher. But my cow is a really large milk cow, so this works great. So you wanna take into account the height. You also wanna take into account the diameter because my husband and I usually milk, you know, at the same time. And so he has to milk his side and his quarters, you know, it has to reach under the cow. So something with a small opening like like this. This is a milk pail that you use, uh, or a bucket milker, I guess, when you're using a uh, milking machine. You know, it, it would be really hard to milk into that. That is really small opening, and we like to milk fast. <laughs> so you know, if, you, if you're trying to be careful, like with a pitcher or small opening, you really can only milk one-handed, and that's gonna take a lot longer. And also, this milk bucket is really tall, and it won't even fit, fit under my cow. So on this stainless steel bucket, it I ordered a screen that will pre-filter the milk that fits right down in the bucket. It is made out of high quality stainless steel and I really, really love that it will keep hair and debris from the barn out. So, but make sure you understand that when you go to your milk room, you still have to filter your milk. And it has a lid that it just sets on top, top of it. It doesn't really seal it, but I can just set this, you know, beside where I'm getting ready to milk. And and we have a video about getting your cow ready to milk, and you'll see this milk bucket in it. Okay, this um, definitely my favorite, you know, made in the USA of very high quality materials. Um, the U.S. regulates manufacturing of stainless steel more than, you know, just you know foreign countries. So I really feel comfortable with using this for my raw milk. Okay, another option, um, another milk pail I wanna show you is this is a tote. And you might also, you know, if you wanted to milk in this and then you wanted to, you know, keep pouring your milk into here to store it, you know, so it lid while you're out milking, you know, you also could do that. But I want you to note 
that this is a very, you know, thin gauge of stainless steel. It wasn't very expensive, um, but it's the best that I can find for a tote. But um, in the, the video about getting your cow ready to milk, I showed that I was using this for my pedestal. It's a cat bowl, stainless steel, very you know, inexpensive. But Belinda stepped on it and crushed it. <laughs> so, you know, this is very, very, very thick and tough and this crushed um, just for her kind of resting her hoof on it. But anyway, we, uh, Mr. Roofer built a solid wooden pedestal now, so no more crushed stainless steel. So we've talked about the pitcher, the stainless steel bucket, a milk tote, and this milk bucket goes with a milky machine. So if you, um, you know, if maybe you needed to buy this in stages, I would recommend you know, buying the bucket first. It's 13 quarts. And maybe if you had to wait to order the screen, I would, you know, maybe do something like this. This is one option where you get a tea towel and just put over your bucket and some elastic. And this will work great to keep flies or debris out. I hope this video will help you choose the best bucket to use for milking your cow. Remember, the bucket holds your precious raw milk and the whole point of, you know, I know you've gone through a lot of expense to purchase your cow and, you know, set everything up to own a family milk cow. So the whole point is the raw milk and you want to make sure that there is nothing that it comes in contact with that might contaminate it. You want it to be as healthy and as nutritious as possible because you are feeding your family and that is so important because what we eat is a reflection of our health. Please subscribe to our channel because I want to make sure that if you have a family milk cow that you get all of our videos because we are creating lots of content about family milk cows. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Karen, creator of the YouTube channel and blog Texas Farmstead Living, where we inspire educate and guide you into living your healthiest best life. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thank you.